I know you. You're, uh, you're a guy that likes to enjoy your downtime. You do anything fun this, this winter. You get out, you play sports. What do you do in the winter? I am kind of an outdoors guy. Mm -hmm. I have to go outdoors every day, mm -hmm. pretty much. But um, <laughs> I've been skiing. Uh, we just got back. You went skiing? Yeah, we just got back from a little ski trip, which is a lot of fun. And I hadn't been skiing in a couple of years, because it just seems like a lot of work. Um, <laughs> but um, it, it all kind of came back to me. You know? Remember when you, you ever go, you ski, right? Yeah. Remember the first time you went skiing? How difficult it seemed. I didn't know anything about, you know, like the, the way they label trails for difficulty, like the black diamonds mm -hmm. for difficult, Most blues, difficult, yeah. mm -hmm. greens. And I was in Colorado, and I pulled into this convenience store, and I said to the guy behind the uh, counter, I said, what's the best mountain to go skiing at around here? And he looked at me right in the eyes, and he said, you know what? Uh, I like Copper Mountain, but a lot of people don't like to go there because they're afraid of all the blacks. I thought, wow, this guy is a racist. <laughs> And then he said, but you know what? I don't mind the blacks. He said, I have a lot of fun with them, but they will beat you up. They will beat you up. <laughs> and he said, they are all over the mountain. They're everywhere. And guess what? Some of them, not very well groomed. But he said, if you want the good white powder, that's where you gotta go. <laughs> I thought, well, I am not going to Copper Mountain, that's for sure. <laughs> No, you just have to be so politically correct nowadays. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you, know? you do. I was just in uh, Nashville, and I had this uh, cab driver pick me mm -hmm. up from the airport. Nice yes. guy, a black African-American gentleman. And um, he said his name was Boyd. And I said, I'm, I'm sorry, what was your name? I want to make sure I heard him right. Yeah. He said, Boyd. Oh, Boyd. I have never pronounced a D so hard in my life. <laughs> you know, because I didn't want any kind of misunderstanding. You know what I mean? Hello there, Boyd. Yeah. <laughs> nice city you got here, Boyd. <laughs> Boyd. But uh, somebody told me that I don't enunciate some of my words when I speak. Really? Like uh, they said, when I say huge, I don't pronounce the H. I just go huge instead of huge. You know, and that annoyed this person. And I thought, that's kind of a silly thing to be annoyed about, mm -hmm. you know. I could see, like, if I didn't pronounce my H's when I laughed, that could be annoying. Like, ah, 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 ah. <laughs> you know, that would be very grating. <laughs> But, um, but you know what I'm saying. I know what you're saying.